Hey, oh, trip. Uh, oh. I can see you, but you can't see me. That's strange. How, how bizarre. Why don't you come off your drone? See if that's any better. There we go. Hey up troops, it's A Littleton here again with another video and this time we're going to be looking at the new gadget for Year 8 Season 2 Dread Factor, the Observation Blocker. Now first impressions for me is twofold. Two, I've got sort of two arguments with myself here. I've got the angel and the devil on both shoulders. The angel's telling me this is actually a really, really good gadget and really oppressive. However, the devil says nobody drones anymore. Everyone just runs into the building. What use is stopping a drone seeing what they want to see? So if you're at higher ranks where people use drones more, this is definitely going to be more useful. If you're in the lower echelons of the ELO bracket where people just run into the building and they don't know what a drone is, it's not going to be much use. But if you're playing against a team that drones, I think these are wildly effective and are going to be effective in Pro League as well. So like we do in the operator videos, we'll get into the basics of the gadget and then we'll get into some scenarios when it's actually useful and we'll go into some site setups. So particularly on Oregon defending Attic, I think it's really, really, really strong. Other than that, that's enough waffling. Let's get stuck into it. Right then, the observation blocker. What is it and how does it work? Lovely little fire on tonight here in Chalet. But let's go through the basics first. So the observation blocker is this. Put it on the floor. It brings up a curtain of light almost. Uh, and defender, sorry, attacker drones can't see through this. So this will appear as just a big screen for attacker drones. In a second, I'll flip over to the attack side and show you what it looks like from there as well. But as it stands, that's what it looks like for defenders. Now, this is what it looks like for attackers as well who aren't on drones. But if you are on your drone, if you're on a Brava drone, a Brava drone, or a Twitch drone, it's going to be a screen just the same as any normal regular attacker drone. Now, you get three of these things. You can put them down wherever you like as long as it's on the floor and there's nothing in your way. You can crisscross them. I must put it to one side, sorry. You can crisscross them. So the, the, the light wall, if you will, will cross over one another. You know, there's no blocking each other. Um, and they can go... Let me just pick one up quickly. The width, as you can see, is quite wide. They will cover a double door, but we'll come on to why you shouldn't put one here in just a second. We'll cover a double door and a little bit further. They won't cover the cut double door if they're not in the middle. So you'll see it does extend quite far. Yeah, let's use this side instead, sorry. It does extend quite far, but it doesn't quite extend all the way over to the door. There's a tiny little gap there. If that was brought around level, it would be about here. So you'd still have a, a bit of a smidgen of a, gra a gap on the side. Now, are these things indestructible? The answer is no, very much the opposite. I've got another one down just in the open here. You'll see as soon as you do anything in terms of punching or shooting, there's no part of this that's indestructible. The camera there is is um, destroyable. What's the opposite of indestructible? Destructible. That's embarrassing. Uh, every part of this is, is destroyable, destructible, whatever you want to call it. So you shoot the edge there, it'll destroy you. Shoot the edge here, it'll destroy you. Shoot the middle. Anywhere you want to shoot this, on the bases, the stand. The only thing that won't destroy it is if you shoot the light curtain itself or the base. That doesn't destroy it. You need to be shooting the actual unit itself to destroy it. Now, when it comes to placement, double doors we've just been through. Single doors, try and think of it like a mute jammer placement. So when it comes to a single door, you want to put... Oh, I've got an ADS out, embarrassing. You want to put it down the side of the door like this. Make sure the light curtain goes all the way across as it does. And you'll see with a single door, that's completely safe there from an attacker. Can't destroy that from here. But it does cover the whole door. Now, when you put it down, it's quite easy to get it on the wrong angle. Let's just say we put it here in a rush and we go, oh, yeah, let's put that there quickly. Mm, that's not quite done what I wanted it to do. Let's try again. Right, we're in a rush. We're in a bit more of a rush this time. Right, let's put this down here quickly. Right, this is going to do it. Boom. And you think, oh, well, that's no use, is it? So you've got to make sure that the light curtain, or whatever you want to call this thing, the strip of light here, passes past the door. So don't just put it down and run away. Put it down. Just make sure when you're placing it. I mean, it's pretty obvious that you know you've got it perpendicular and like 90 degrees to the wall. Just make sure that it's... Uh, no, like, that's not 90 degrees to the wall. That's 180 degrees to the wall. You know you've got it parallel with the wall. That's what I want to say. Why did this turn into a math lesson? Anyway, make sure you get it like that. However, when it comes to placing it, you've got to think as well that you're going to let a drone see down this aisle here. So get it as close as you can to the wall. Just literally butt yourself up against the wall. Take a couple of steps back until it won't go any further. You're going to make it tight along the wall. That one's almost perfect. There's no information getting through there. So 
Where is it well? Where is it uh, good to use? Where is it well used? Uh, various different maps and various different methods. We'll get into that later on. But I just want to now jump into what it looks like as an attacker. Just one more thing to note before we go into this, and there's the pairings that y the uh, the observation block will have with other operators. Um, let's just say we're using this double door as an example. In fact, no, let's use this single door again here as an example. We put an observation blocker down. We make sure it's parallel with the wall. That's going to cut off the information there. And we put a maestro cam on the wall here. Okay, I know this isn't a site setup. I'm just using this door as an example. Think about if this was piano door upstairs and we're talking about putting a, um, a maestro cam on the back of the wall there. The drone doesn't know what's the other side of this light wall. So your maestro cam, if, if maestro is on the cam, can get ready to shoot the drone before it's even got past this wall. And they have still got no information of what's on the other side. The thing about the observation blocker is it's somewhat easily countered. Got an ADS out again. Somewhat easily countered by a drone, because a drone will come up to here, wouldn't be able to see through this wall, and you just come through the other side, and now I can see everything. So you've got to make sure wherever you use these, that there's someone there that can destroy the drones before they get through this wall. Or a maestro cam on the wall here that could stop the drones getting through. I, I know in, in the real world you'd never put a maestro cam down here outside main lobby, but I'm just saying if this was a site, that's what you could do. So let's have a look at what this looks like from an attacker's perspective. And we'll see how annoying they are to play against. So from an attacker's perspective, this is what the observation blocker looks like. Again, it's red, not blue. Now let's chuck a drone on the floor. I'm going to hide it behind the couch so you can't see it yet. Bosh, that's what it looks like from a drone. Now, as you can tell, you see nothing through there. It's not even like semi-transparent. It's not translucent. There's a little bit of sound that comes through it, if you can hear that. Let me go and shoot the jukebox. I can't believe I haven't done that already. That's embarrassing. Shoot the jukebox. Get rid of that. Just jump back on this drone quickly. You can hear it. So there is a sound that comes from it as well. Now, you don't lose your drone if you go through it. You know, it's not like an Aruni gate. You can go through it as many times as you want to. You don't do any damage to your drone at all. You can't go through the object itself, as you can see. You're going to have to jump over that if you want to. Hey, Jaeger. But you can see there, there's no information, and you can't loop back through the other way either. It doesn't work either side. Now, obviously, you can go through it, but again, this is where you've got to have an, a defender on the other side who's going to destroy that drone before they get the information of what's on the other side. So using um, the drone hole over here as an example... You can see there we've got that kitchen or dining rather, sorry, door with an observation blocker on. If there was a maestro cam where we talked about on that wall here, you wouldn't be able to get through this door. As soon as you got to here, the maestro cam would destroy your drone and you've got no information. There's a jump scare Jaeger on the other side. So you've got to make sure you act on like not letting the drones through. Otherwise, well, there's no point letting a drone there and they go, oh, right, Jaeger's playing now. Okay, cool. Thank you. You've got to make sure you destroy those drones. But that's what it looks like from an attacker's perspective. Now, the reason I'm playing Brava here is because I feel like this um, gadget is a direct counter to Brava. So we jump on the Brava drone, and it looks exactly the same. However, Brava drones and Twitch drones um, can destroy these things. So you can see here that Brava can hack this. Now, there's, there's no curtain there at all. However, as you can see, it's hacked. It goes sort of translucent. You can see through it. But defenders now cannot see through this. So if this was a maestro cam here or a mozzie drone on the floor here, sorry plants, or a valt cam on the wall here, and they try to look through this, they would have the same effect as this one. But obviously now it's hacked, we can see through it. I actually don't, I'm not a massive fan of this. I feel like this should just completely disappear. I don't think it should be like translucent. However, the defender gadgets then can't see through. You've just got to weigh up, like, with, a, with one of these, is there a gadget the other side? Is there a, is there a maestro cam here that would that would be blocked if you hack this device? There's no point in hacking this device, really, unless you can take advantage of it. The only way you could, like, think it'd be worthwhile if it was in a really annoying spot and you needed to see through, and then you... Because, I mean, obviously, they're so easy to destroy, as you can see, just from a couple of one-taps. So, yeah, it's, it's a tricky one. Is it worthwhile hacking? It depends if there's a gadget on the other side, or if you... It, for example, if you had the... Um, the observation blocker here and you couldn't destroy it obviously from the front door you're not going to be able to um not gonna be able to destroy that there and say you need to get a drone through there or you need to see through there then it'd be worthwhile hacking but if not i don't think it's a great a great idea to hack them i think there's better gadgets you could hack as brava but i do feel like that is a direct counter to brava and um yeah cheers for your help jaeger let's get in stuck into uh, a few places where it's useful sorry jaeger i think we all know what we've got to do shoot the radio get it out of here right then the drone observation blocker and where is it useful? So, the first time or the first place that I've found it to be useful so far is here in Attic on Pit. If you put your observation blocker right here on the edge, 
you'll see where it covers there all the way from the edge to the edge. And what I'm going to do is every time I show you all locations, I put your blocker and then I'm going to show you um, what it looks like from a drone's perspective. So put your observation blocker here. When somebody breaches through the wall, that's my breach through the wall, and they throw the drone on the floor and they're trying to look down what's in pit, all they're going to see is this wall. Now, you can put it slightly further up. You don't have to put it exactly there. Um, although I find the further up you put it, if you were to put it here, for example, it's much easier for the attackers. It still goes all the way across, as you can see, from there to there. And once the drone's here, you know, there's still not much... You know, you're not going to get any information down on pit, but the, the attacker's only got to take the drone from here to here, the other side, to see what's going on down there. So, for me, you want to try and keep the observation blocker as, sort of, as far away in terms of distance... Oh, a bit too far. No, I'm, I don't know why I'm doing it that way. Just turn this way. As far away in terms of distance as you can for what the drone's going to see. So from here, the drone's going to have to come all the way down here to see any information about what's going on in pit. They don't know if this wall's reinforced. They don't know if there's a frost mat here. They don't know if there's ADSs. They don't know if someone's actually playing here themselves. They know no information based on the drone from what's going on down here. And as the drone comes down, you just shoot the drone. Maybe I don't want Sapitel. I'll have to put a full mag. There you go, just shut the drone. And the person in tower still hasn't got any information. There's certain areas and certain maps where I think this thing is absolutely unbelievable. So, just carrying on the same theme, where else are we going to use it? This is another good one. So, remember, it's completely... Um, it's completely non-bulletproof. You can shoot it from... Let me just put it down. And like we said earlier, you can shoot it from anywhere. You can shoot it here, you can shoot it there. Any part of that can be destroyed. So, you, there's no point in putting one just here, for example. Yes, in theory, that's a great place to put an observation blocker because you can't see anything about what's going on in the back of there. However, one shot from here and it's gone. So you've really got to think about where you put them to try and deny that information. Obviously, you can put it close on the door like this. That's going to deny the information from the drone, from the door, sorry. But all they have to do is just come through here and then they can see everything again. So you've really, it, it, it's a tricky one because you've really got to think about where you put it. But for me, it, depending on what you've got, um, top white stairs, let's just hide this behind here. No, it won't let me do that. I want to be further over. There we go, that's better. That there is a great observation blocker, and I'll tell you why. Because the drone on this door wants to see who's playing hobo, who's playing behind the bed. They can't remember this is a line here. They can't see anything there. The only information they have here, and that's kid's door. So that's another good one. I haven't put that in a particularly good place because you can still just see the edge of it there. So let's move that over slightly. I'm surprised you can see that from the door. It comes out a little bit further than I think. Let's just move that over. Pop that there. And then, yeah, from here. You still can't see anything, hobo. The only thing you've got to be careful of, of course, is big window. And, uh, and white stairs. But with this type of site where, you, you know, the breach could be open, game's window could be open, somebody could be on trophy door, it's white stairs, big window. There's like five angles here, so it's always going to be tough to try and... Uh, to try and deny any kind of line of sight, but to put even just put them on doors, you know, so you've got the something here. So any drone that comes at white stairs, a popular thing to do for attackers is just to leave the drone in the corner here and just to look like this to see what they can see. Well, now they aren't going to be able to see that. They're going to have to come through here, and at this point, you're going to hope someone hears the drone. I actually really like it, and um, and for Oregon, I think it's uh, I think it's a good spot. Okay, so here's the example of what the drone thinks. So we're breaching the attic now. I know it's normally reinforced, but don't worry about that. Throw the drone down. All right, let's see what's down in pit. Oh, wait, we don't know what's down in pit. And by this point, the defender can see the drone, and the defender should shoot the drone before you can see what's down there. And you know what's down there? Boo! Hi, Jaeger. However, let me just tell you something completely random, a, a, a completely unrelated tip to what I'm talking about now, and I know I'll go off tangents all the time, but whenever you want information on pit and you haven't got the wall open, remember there's a drone all here, right? Remember that drone all's there. So throw your drone outside. Make sure you don't get peeked from kids. Throw your drone outside. Remember this drone all exists, right? First of all, you can always see what... Unless it's a mute jammer. But you can still get through this drone all even if there's a mute jammer there. You just got to be careful. But you can see where the, the cave claw is if you've got to get it. You can see if it's bandits. You can see what denial's on the wall. Also, when you come down here, this makes it tricky, obviously. But let's just pretend there's not an observation blocker here. Or even if there is, let's pretend that the defender doesn't shoot your drone. A really good drone spot to be able to see pit is jump up here onto this windowsill, then jump up onto this cabinet and just leave your drone here. From here, the defender can't see the drone. Even if they go all the way back to that wall, they can't see the drone from here. They have to jump up here. But because you've now got the wall open, they don't really want to be jumping up here to get the drone. 
However, even if someone does do the observation blocker, which we're talking about now, you can get your drone up here. Obviously, it's a good place to be able to just see all of Pit from here anyway. But if you can't get your drone there, I mean, how strong is that? You've got no idea what's going on in Pit. On the same tone, I've already put one down where we were talking about before to cover Hobo. And again, we're droning Trofo. Trofo? <laughs> hobo and Trophies. Trofo. So again, you're trying to see what's going on down at... Is anyone down at Hobo? I don't know. I'm going to have to take my drone all the way through here to try and get any information. And by this point, it's dead. I just, it's so, so good, man, just being able to deny that. Obviously, the difficulty at the minute is trying to find a rank stack or a rank team that actually use the drones. Um, and obviously, just to demonstrate, when you're not on your drone, you can see through perfectly. We're downstairs on uh, on Albo or in Blue on Basement, whatever you want to call it. And th this is another belting spot for me. Get it as far over to the right-hand side as you can. It'll block all the way across to the wall. It's right on the edge there. And now they've got no information about what's going on on Albo. So they don't know if there's a shield here. They don't know if there's a Jaeger. They don't know who's playing here. If anyone, this could be reinforced for all they know. Obviously, whoever's playing Albo, as soon as that drone comes around this corner, you've got to destroy the drone before it comes through this uh, observation blocker. Otherwise, all the information is lost. Like, you just give the attacker everything they need to know. Obviously, with it being tucked in right there... Can't be shot from the door. You're going to have to come all the way around. Uh, don't put it here. There's an attacker could get it from here without peeking elbow. I'm going to make sure you put it all the way around. But another really, really good spot. And then also... Get one on this door here as well. And play here. And again, any drone that's there. Imagine bringing a drone through blue, right? And you can't see through here. And you can't see through here. Again, once I've um, finished showing you like where I'd place them, I'm going to give you an example of what it looks like on a drone as well. But... I mean, there's just no information there. What you could even do as well is once you've made the head holes that you would normally make in E-Box, you can even put one behind the reinforced wall and then they can't see any information through into E-Box as well. It's an insanely strong setup. You know, from here now, so this is reinforced. So this is protected. And then from here, no drone can see in. You can sort of peek out as you wish. And you get three of them. It's mad. So to give you the attacking blue demonstration then, throw the drone out. Look at this. What information have you got? You can't see through the head holes. You can't see through into Shiko. You can't see elbow. It's absolutely insanely difficult to get any kind of information. By the time you get here, you're drained. You drain? I can't speak today. Your drone's dead. By the time it gets to here, your drone's dead from anyone that's playing on, uh, on blue door or Shiko door, whatever you want to call this. And obviously, anytime you come around this corner here, the smoke usually, or the chanker even these days, who's going to be playing Albo, it's just going to completely shut down this drone. You can't find out what's going on through here, but guess what's through here? Oh, just a Jaeger waiting for you. It's really disorientating trying to get through the, the blocker. But yeah, all those three areas of information that you need to try and get for your teammates. Is there anyone E-Box? Is there anyone Shiko Door? Is there anyone Albo? You can't get that information. Super, super strong. So there we have it. It's how good the new observation blocker is and places where it can work. Is it a good gadget? Yes. Is it effective against attackers? Yes, if they drone. Obviously, you've got to put it in useful positions, but if the attackers are a team that drones, especially a team of like three, four or five who are trying to work together to get information, it's a really, really solid gadget. If you're still with me this far into the video, I can't express how grateful I am, even if you've watched 30 seconds of it. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for continuing supporting the channel, and I'll see you next time. Cheers!